Hi everyone, Alistair here from alistairguild.com and today I'm bringing you a quick tip about how I optimize images for SEO. So one of the key issues I see when I do audits for clients is uh, site speed and problems with slow page load times and one of the leading causes of that is poorly optimized images. So optimizing your images will help your pages load quicker and um, we know we've known since 2010 that Google uses page load time as a ranking factor so the quicker your pages load the better so I'm going to walk you through a quick demonstration I've got a stock photo here that I downloaded from Dollar Photo Club uh, it's of a computer server room and if I click on the get info option I can see that it's 14 meg in size which is far too large and the dimensions are 6,000 by 4,000. Uh, that's the number of pixels. Again, too big for what we need. So in terms of optimizing this for SEO, the first thing I'm going to do is reduce the size in terms of pixels, and make it smaller, closer to what I want it to display at on the website. I'm then going to use lossless image compression to make it as small as possible. And one of the ways we do lossless image compression is to strip out all of this data. So you can see all these keywords and, and different bits of information that are stored in this file. When I display that file on a website, I don't really need this information. So we're going to strip that out. The compression won't affect the quality so that the image will appear as normal. It won't be blurry or grainy. Uh, obviously, that would be a no-no. Uh, so lossless image compression will reduce the size without affecting the quality. The last thing I'm going to do before I upload it is just rename it. So instead of being called Dollar Photo Club number, 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 it's going to have uh, a more meaningful keyword relevant title. I'll then upload it to WordPress, insert it into a post or page. And the last thing I'll do is specify the alt text or the alternative text. Uh, alt text is there to primarily for screen readers so people with visual impairments or, or blindness can still understand or get a feeling for what the image is about and we do know that search engines use that as well so it's worth specifying an alt text for images so I've kind of explained what I'm going to do but actually it takes about 30 seconds so let's go first thing I'm going to do is open it in preview. I'm on a Mac. I'm going to go tools, adjust size, and I'm going to adjust it down to a thousand pixels wide. Press enter, press command S to save the image and press close. I'm then going to open a program called image opt-in. I'm going to drag the file into that and that will losslessly compress it. It's already done. It's saved 9.8% of the file size. I'm just going to rename it computer server room and if I click get info again we can see that it's now 424 kilobytes and the dimensions are 1000 by 667 so much better. The only thing I would say about the resizing the dimensions if your images are going to be displayed on a retina display uh, you probably want them twice as large as they will be displayed on the website. So I know that this image is going to be displayed at 500 pixels wide and that's why I've selected a thousand pixels uh, for the actual image. The, there's lots of posts online about this but basically to get photos to look crisp on a retina display you want to upload them at twice the size that they'll be displayed on the website. We've reduced it from 14 meg down to 424 kilobytes. That's a massive reduction. So that file is going to load a lot quicker when the browser tries to download it from the server. We've given it a relevant name. So the only thing left to do now is upload it into a WordPress post and specify the alt text. So here I am in the WordPress dashboard. I'm writing a blog post and I want to add the photo that we've just optimized. So I'm going to click Add Media, Upload Files, and then I'm just going to drag the photo into there. And while it's uploading, you'll notice on the right-hand side we've got some options. Uh, URL and title will probably fill in by default. The one I'm interested in is Alt Text or Alternative Text. So I'm going to enter into there, 
computer server room. So that's not there to be stuffed with keywords. It's there to enter a description of what the image is about for screen readers or for search engines. It just helps to explain what that image is about. In the case of search engines, they can't really interpret the image. So having the alt text is how they determine what it's about. And I'm going to insert that into post. And then it's a little bit small, so I'm just going to right click on it and change it to a custom size. And I want that 500 pixels wide. And that's it. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to contact me on my website, which is www.alistagill.com. Hope that helps. Good luck optimizing your images for SEO.